So, mm, so this is what we talked about where there's something going on where, um, where these tests were written to assume that they were running relative to the, to the repo route. And, um, uh, yeah, so we need to just figure out where, I mean, we need to fix these test cases for this to, for this to work. Right. Um, did you, have you looked into, have you tried to debug this? Yeah, I've tried, but didn't find anything. So, okay. We can try to debug it. All right. Um, okay. So I open this already. And I think light GBM PR is ready to go. I mean, there's nothing in a CI. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I had this demo. Great. All right. Okay, so, <clears throat> right, so what what did you, what what have you tried so far to, to work on this issue? Because we can start from there. The async test case one. Oh, I just changed it to the relative path, right? Yeah. And after, after that, I have tried to solve this thing, but uh, didn't come up with a solution, so. Okay. Didn't have any steps. Yeah. All right. So, and then this one, I think the. Somehow my my changes got lost when I added that other example. So, man, we really need to fix that white space check. Um, oh, I think we were waiting on the merging the accuracy stuff. Uh, have we created that list of points that we make every time? The list of what? A list of points uh, everyone wants to talk about. Is, is, the, is that thing done? Uh, no, we're still we're still going to do that. I just wanted to hit a few things quickly first. Um, okay. Let's see. This guy, because these are things that it things things that the CI is going to run is what my where my brain is going right now. <laughs> Um, let's see, where did that go? Model, where did that go? Oh, here it is. Yeah, that way we kick off the CI on a few of these guys uh, while we talk. Um, okay, so, and then let's just run the talks build. Yay, now we can run that. Fantastic. Okay, so let's jump over here and we can start start doing this now that we have a few things kicked off here. All right, so Shaw. Uh, yeah, 
uh, I made the changes to the data frame PR as requested. And uh, should I make, uh, I want to discuss if I should make a pull request for the forecasting what, uh, models thing just yet, because that uses a second party plugin. So should I hold off on that or? Okay. Um... Uh, you know, I think I think so. I talked to I talked to to Yash, and and he said basically that he's going to have a little more time. Um, upcoming, he he didn't have you know he's had exams and things, so he hadn't had time yet to get to that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to merge some of the second party stuff in, um, just because you know for for the selection period of gsoc like the contributions will, will count up until we we decide right so um so you will we you know we just we'll just try to get those merged and then you know it's very clear that those contributions are are you know um you know what they should be right they they're they're countable um so we'll yeah try to make another pr and and then that will that will count for that so um data playing pr but for review will make um forecasting model pr um and i'll make a note of this actually in the uh, general general business general business is a person attending our meeting. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, second party plugin are happening. A few, our time schedule has changed. So, so the time schedule for the second party plugin stuff has changed, basically. Let me make sure we're still recording. Um, um, so we're going to do that, you know, we're targeting like two or three or maybe, you know, two to four weeks out to be complete with that. Uh, well, probably three to four because starting two weeks from now, weeks out to complete. Um, so, you know, the impact of this is that we're going to try to merge um, all uh, PRs related to second party, or you know, all, all plugin PRs. And then, so GSOC wise, uh, let's look at the rubric or whatever. I think that's what we said you know. Yeah, contribution. So, um, like, yeah, I think this is basically, okay, maybe it doesn't say it straight out, but basically, you know, up until the point, this is like, we we cut off like right, right before. So if you're still making contributions, you're, you're getting points in that category. Um, so, and that's merged pull requests. Um, so GSOC wise, uh, if you feel that you need more contribution points, um, try to get your, try to get your plugins merged to a mergeable state. Um, okay. So, and then you'll make the forecasting PR. Anything else from you, Shah? Uh, nope. All right. Okay. So, and then so he'll, so how's that linting? How's the linting one going? And we finished the docs port. Great. Hello. So you. Yes, yes. Uh, so uh, in linting thing, I was working on those. Uh, I was checking like how much percent is failing. So I saw like 30, 35% of the commits in master 
uh, up to this point are failing all right uh, good, in good our learning to commit so so i i just uh, started grouping them by you know type and i have found some uh, body mutations which i have implemented some body mutations but haven't pushed them because it is very complicated at the point okay, at cool. this point and i just want to them. make it more clear great yes great. I'm, I'm working i'm working on that so uh, we will not be able to touch 100% obviously but yeah 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 no that's a, a great approach of so that's what I'm doing, and uh, I had a few questions. Uh, other than that, because you know I'm having some tests this week, so I was not able mm -hmm. to write much code. Uh, uh, one is about uh, uh, 1078 uh, issue number 1078. Okay, great. Um, so uh, issue 1078, if you can like uh, maybe okay, questions what, on 1078. The... 1078. Okay. Uh, the question is that uh, uh, we had a word on. Uh, making that async io sub process one uh, wrapper oh, yeah. for uh, like you know we were usually using similar code everywhere yeah so we wanted to make it a single function but uh, actually the thing is uh, i i think we have something similar already there in uh, testing console test commands.py so should we, oh yeah uh, extend its functionality without writing a new module or we should write a new module Is that um yeah and okay. uh, like uh, a sub process can return a lot of things like return code and st standard out standard error so how should the user be uh, giving input to that function that uh, you know like h how the interface should be yeah okay great so that was one of the questions. Another one was uh, like, uh, I'm not very sure if we can exactly calculate the run time of async functions, but yeah, I think yeah. having a time decorator would can be helpful. Can it be? Like a time, okay. So you're you're saying like in general for for um, like a, a general time decorator for logging or something? Yeah. Yes, yes, that, that that's kind great. of thing. Yeah, that that's a great idea. Tell us if some part is taking, that's yeah. taking a very long time. I have opened an issue 1088. Okay, uh, awesome. Great regarding idea. Regarding that. So I would like okay. to open that as well. Hey, that's a great, yeah, do it. That sounds great. 1088. Okay. Um, so we can, like, exactly see where things might be going yeah. wrong. Time Performing worse or something like that. Um, yeah, so uh, I don't know if we have a DFML util log, but that sounds like where that would go, right? Um, no, no uh, I checked. Or do you have somewhere else? That kind of, like that, that, that time measuring thing, we didn't have something. Okay, like I'm just saying, if, if I don't know if we have a DFML util log, but that sounds like where that would go. Um, like that would be a good place for it if you're going to put a new, a new thing in. Should. Okay, okay. And uh, one another thing was like, uh, so sometimes if I see certain things being added by contributors and I know that something is wrong, something is right, so can I comment on it? Like, oh, yeah, it definitely. Thing? Yeah, no, so this is, yeah, if, 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 if you guys see other people's, you know, pull requests or, or stuff that you, 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 you know, you, you feel that that you have some input on, you know, you can feel free to comment whether whether you're sure you're wrong or, or whether you're sure you're right or whether you're you're wrong. It doesn't matter. You know, the point is, it's good to get discussion, right? Like that's what a lot of what we do in this meeting, right? Is this is sort of a central place for us to for us to discuss things, right? And if somebody realizes, you know, in this meeting as we're talking about something, then we can all, you know, raise raise concerns, right, and figure out what the right approach is. Because you know, there's really, you know, there's there's no I mean, there's there's a right approach and a wrong approach from a functional aspect when you're programming, right? But there's no, you know, any approach that gets the job done is sort of, you know, kind of the right approach, right? But we're 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 looking usually for the more, you know, the more like, you know, the more maintainable and elegant approach is usually what we're going for, right? Understandable and maintainable, and then you know, elegant after that, right? And and then elegant being. Yes. So, so some things are like very, very obvious that we can like really point out like yeah. this is going wrong, this is going right. So at least we can 
and till the contributor that is yeah exactly yeah helping each other on that type of stuff is 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 very important um actually i think that's one of the rubric um recommended rubric items too it's like you know helping you know helping helping other people uh you know with their prs and stuff i think that was some on there i think uh let's see uh where is it um yeah engagement with community right so you know answering answering other people's questions pull requests right you know this is this is this is this is how we help each other right um so that's that's a very you know that's a very important thing to do um so yes if you if you see something then definitely uh, provide input right you know don't just provide input. there's the, the counterpoint to this is don't just say something just to say something because that doesn't help anyone right um you know if if you're if you yes, oh, yes. right exactly right and i think that's what you're saying so so yes you you hit the nail on the head um okay um okay so bucket prs by um or no bucketed uh, commit messages by um uh, Fail. So, so there, there are two main mutations that I'm looking into. Yeah. Uh, one, one is like uh, the the last part contains a function or a heading, something like that, which is there in that folder in a file. So that would be searched in a specific subfolder. Mm -hmm. And and the, another mutation was actually I have just missed it. Uh, there was another mutation of making capital and making small, like ah. uh, someone that is us like you know that is going to be uh, a thing like yeah some folders are capital named and some files are capitalized completely mm -hmm. um, yeah people don't write that in commit messages mm -hmm. yeah that's that, actually that, a... that, that is correct so that these are the two things i think that will solve a, a, a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and even after that we'll be able to clear even more all right okay yeah and those those sound like you know rather important ones to me i we talked a little bit about the, the function one last time i think um, and we sort of said maybe maybe it would be optional um but if you're already there and looking at it then then maybe it makes sense to do and we can always expand on it later i think the capitalization one this seems like something that we want to get right on the first try um because there's a lot of you know we we want to make sure this mutation rule uh works before we merge the pr uh because there's there's that's a frequent issue that we're looking at um and then let's see abstract concept has already existing console test okay so then um, the response on this is so console test um actually i did a little i think you guys have all seen console test but i did a little demo video that i'm trying to post to youtube if i can figure that out i forgot about that but um this is actually going to get split out into its own thing within this is console test will get split into its own package within the second party plugin org um because it sort of doesn't need you know it doesn't really need to be tied to dffml um and so we're not we're going to try to not cross cross uh, the term people use is cross pollinate but like you know um, use things in one that are in the other right um so uh let's stay away from stay away from using um using dffml stuff in console test and using console stuff in df or well we can use console test stuff in dffml but i think that the one that you're talking about maybe is not the best suited for this um because i think we i think let, let's see which which one is that um so the, so the path the parents should be independent of the children, right? Is it like that? Um, parent is the default package and children are those products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The parent should be independent of the, of, yes. Yeah, the, we, so that's basically the general, you know, the general rules we try to, um, yeah, well, this is why maybe here's a good example. Um, oh yeah, here it is. It's in docs contributing testing. Oh, what the hell happened here? Oh God! Oh no! What happened here? All the 
API stuff somehow is listed on the top level. I hope that's not happening here. No? Okay. Well, that's good. We need to figure out what happened there. That's... Oh, maybe this changed with the docs command somehow? That's really weird. That shouldn't have changed at all, though. That's weird. Okay, well, well now we know. It's, uh, okay, so could, could you actually open an issue for this, um, Sahil? Um, the, the fact yes. that, yeah, it looks like the references are showing up. Um, well, you know, like they're not nested anymore for some reason. Odd. Um, I don't remember seeing anything that would change that. This so, is API, API reference? Yeah, the, the API, I would say, like, you know, docs um, API or something is um, at the wrong level. Yeah, see, it's at the bottom here. Okay, now I can't mouse over, but you can see almost where my mouse is, right? Right below that, you've seen API slash master slash API slash service. So for some, somehow, everything under slash API got blown up into the level above it. Oh, I heard Sphinx or DocUtils got updated recently, but that shouldn't affect us. I think it must have been that PR because on the old branch, it's working. Okay, we just need an issue to track fixing this before release. That's a big one. Um, okay, so the split out into its own plugin um, or its own uh, package within... Um, um, uh, yeah, diff, well, org. Um, let's not use um, things. Let's not use the helper from there. Yeah, the idea is for that to be sort of its own project, you know. Um, uh, let's not use if file helpers in console tests since console tests since that would be you know this would be a test dependency of dffml um, console test will be a test dependency of dffml so not available um, to main package. All right. Um, so it's got, uh, let's not use the helpers and console test. Scott's test, test will be its own plugin. Um, and that would create a circular dependency. Um, okay, so we'll, let's talk more about this. Um, okay, let me just, I want to get a few more things. Um, okay, so let's, let's, we talked a good amount about this stuff, so, so we need to do some more review on this. This is basically, we need to review this. So I'm going to grab everybody else's items and we're going to come back, but this is a great enumeration of the things we need. We can go back and, and say whether we need to talk more about any of those things. Okay, so... Um, and then, okay, so we got linting of PR command message is time decorator for locking. Good idea. Um, and then we got 1078. Okay. So, and then Hashim, so do we have, didn't you have a PR up? Let's see. So Hashim, what do we have for you today? Uh, yeah, I started working on uh, the cache download issue, uh, but uh, it's not yet uh, up to the point to get it reviewed. Okay. okay. Um, Sweet. Great job. Because I have exams going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yay. Oh my god, this is such a mess. Like, how did I do this and not see that this was just the most insane thing in the whole world? I keep, I did spend so long on this, and I'm like, wow, this is nuts. Why am I doing this? Well, you know, at least it's in the Git history for anybody who actually needs to write some kind of insane, um, insane, um, uh, what it's called, decorator that actually needs to take the function. Um, okay, let's see. 
Yeah. How did I not realize that was nuts when I was doing that? Um, okay, great. Let's see. So, all right. So we'll, we'll just say this is a work in progress. Um, uh, I, I wanted to ask one thing. Uh, is it okay uh, that if the both of the functions are uh, just uh, you know returning the path to the file that has been downloaded or unpacked? Yeah, I think let's see. Let let's see. Yeah. I, I believe so. Um, I think we're also going to want to make them. Um, I think we're going to want to make them async. Actually, we'll just put so. So I, I realized there were some comments about, um, you know, it's, it's sync anyways is written somewhere, but um, it's synchronous right now. And, but, you know, a network operation really is, is it's very much less than ideal for that to be synchronous, right? So let's tag them with async def, you know, instead of just def and make sure that they're awaited everywhere. And that way, um, that way, if we actually ever do change that, you know, ho hopefully we can have another issue. Then let's just put this down. So cache download um, decorator to function PR. Oh, actually, that whole thing was not a waste of time because uh, the operations could use that massive um, thing. Okay, so cache download decorator to function PR. All right. Um, Okay, um, and let's say, okay, so uh, let's make uh, cached the cached download functions async def. Uh, so in the future, uh, we can open an issue issue for in the future converting them or like running them in a thread or something for in the future um running downloads in a thread or something to make them not block the event loop all right um yeah, actually, I saw uh, it awaiting that extractor today, and uh, I thought that makes sense, so I already started doing the async thing. Okay, great. Yeah, I just I saw I I saw that. Yeah, I saw or I saw your await extract, and I was wondering. I was that's what made me think of that actually. So that's funny. Um, yeah. Okay, great, great. We're on the same page then. All right. Um, let's see. So. Okay, so and then and then you had um, so moving moving models between notebook PR. Um, do you want to talk any more about that? Is there anything to say on that today? Or I know your your proposal has been sort of the work of flushing that out, right? So, um, yeah, um, I'm just uh, gonna you know uh, do this one first, the cache download, then use mm -hmm. uh, this to uh, get the test running on the great. notebooks. Oh well. yes, that's right. That's what happened here. Great. Okay, so um, yeah. waiting on cached download uh, to make testing of notebooks easier. All right. Yeah, and this is you know, and this is sort of. Did you have anything else you wanted to talk about today? Uh, no, thank you. All right, great. Um, and so this is kind of, um, you know, this is this is this is sort of the main reason why we have these cache download and, and all that stuff in net is because anytime we need to mock stuff, you know, um, we know we have a defined set of things that we're mocking <laughs> um, instead of like doing sync, you know, doing URL opens everywhere. We we always go through these helper functions and that helps us uh, audit and and then do write tests in a more consistent way. Um, okay, so general business, that's hilarious. Um, okay. okay, this is work in progress. This one is waiting. 
Um, actually, these guys I don't think are quite done. Okay, and this is not done. Okay, um, let's see. Who else do we have today? Uh, right, we have Sudhanshu. Sudhanshu, I think we missed you last week. Um, I think I think you didn't get a chance to talk, so let's make sure we we hear what you have to, what your update is. So what what do you have going on? Uh, so uh, I'm actually still working on the ice cream demo. Oh, I saw so that work in, in that, progress PR. Yep. Yeah, so in that, I am not able to actually uh, like uh, work on the merge command for it. Ah. Uh, I was not able to figure out like how to uh, like run the merge command with a data flow source. Okay. Yeah, we need to document that. Okay, so we we can do that right now. Um. So let's see, and then anything else going on? I was. Uh, no, that's. Okay, I was going to try to do a rebase of master against the accuracy branch, um, and and see where that goes. I've just been like I had to take a I had to take a few days off um, last week, and that's why I was MIA. Um, but um, yeah, so I haven't gotten to that yet. But but I want to do that because um, okay. that would be great. You know, I think we're we're almost done with that, right? Um, yes. Okay. So and then okay. So let's see accuracy. Uh, PR needs to have master rebased. And, okay, and and I was I'll, I'll look at that. So don't worry, don't worry about this until I just wanted to put it here because that's related to your work. Um, okay. And then, so need to figure out merge, or need to document merge command. And so, so Hill, did you get? Did you were you? Did you make an issue for tracking the docs thing that we found? I just made that. Great, thanks. Uh, what what's the issue number? Ten ninety three. All right, great, thank you. Awesome. Okay, docs seem to have uh, exploded API into top level. Okay, great. We'll just try to fix that. It's not critical. We fix it now, just as long as we do it before release. Um, okay, so ice cream demo. We may just do a release before. Um, actually, we'll probably do a release before. I'm moving. I'm moving groups. I think I said so. I still have all my. Uh, um, all my compliance stuff is within this org, so I'll probably try to do a release this week. Um, okay, so, all right, let's see who else do we have on the call. Um, let's see. Uh, Nitesh? How are things going? Yeah, through? just my latest PR. That is okay. Oh, yeah. And N17. Oh, and we already also started on the other ones. Okay, great. Um, yeah. And let's see how those are going. Really? Inline strong starting string. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, they updated stuff with, uh, I think they updated, um, they updated DocuTils and this is throwing up issue in another project and this is annoying the hell out of me. Um, so inline strong starting string, let's see, 5,060, or wait, 5,260 was it? Was this it? Uh, inline strong center 5260. Okay, oh, it's because we importance type. Okay, um, let's just fix that then. Okay, so, um, Actually, okay, let's see. Ah, uh, man, I hope that's not going to be. Or not there. Why do I keep getting the test? Uh, 
the um, okay so what yeah so so if you guys are seeing random stuff with with doc utils or like with the docs built i i think that the, the ci jobs may be um and where was that um the ci jobs might be a little finicky um well i'm not seeing that at all wait a minute where was that coming from Oh, this is above algebra. What is this? This is something that exists. Oh, great. Or no. This is algebra classifier. Um, classifier args. Oh, because we're doing, yeah, we're doing the make make class. Okay, maybe we need some way of escaping things like this. Because, okay. uh, yeah, see, this make numpy config. So this is this is probably going to be an issue for more than just this. Because um, make numpy config um, just spits this stuff out, right? Um, or or maybe we probably we probably need to do this under. Um, we probably just need to change the way that we're we're um, we're doing these guys. Actually, this is something that I wanted to talk about a long time ago. But but okay, so so the way that we do these these doc strings and stuff, um, this is a good issue that that somebody could could grab. But so we have these config structures, right? Um, and and you know we we. We have things like the make config numpy, make config inspect to take from a, um, and let's just pull up the, the test for make config numpy so that one is really obvious what we're talking about. Um, uh, numpy um, test util config. Yeah, here it is. Mm, test config. Or wait, it's yeah. All right, so this is this is a NumPy style doc string, right? That we're we're parsing out, and for the for the LGBM classifier, um, it basically parses this and turns it into a config structure, and that way we can you know access this stuff in like a programmatic way. Um, so because it, it exists as, as as a data class, right? Um, so this the what we'd be doing here is is we may actually I guess this is, this provides two options to us. So now okay. We have we have two options, right? So so we've been defining these things as config structures and now we have the ability to take doc strings and turn them into config structures. So we could write we have two options here. We can write just the doc string or we can write so we can write the doc string and then use make numpy config on you know the object so if, if we were to do oh no we don't want to do that if we were to do um you know if we if we want to call make numpy config on this double ret right and this was our our model right imagine this is a model class then um then we could write just the, the doc string like it we would you would usually write a doc string in a lot of projects you would write it like this right um, and then you can call make numpy config on it, and then we would have our, our DFML style config structure, right? And that allows us to have programmatic access to the whole thing. Um, now, the downside to this approach is if we did this for every model, the downside to this approach is now you can no longer do this thing like we did here, right? And we do in a lot of models where we're wrapping the model, right? And so we're we're taking we're taking the the LGBM model and we're reading its doc string and we're creating a config structure out of that and then we're adding more properties to it, right? So if we were to just, if we were to write, if we were to, 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 to just rewrite the entire, um, you know, if we were to take the doc string of the LGBM classifier, right, or, or the LGBM model um, from, from the, from from LGBM, the, the library itself that we're wrapping right now, and we were to put it in, um, and and we were to just 
paste the doc string in here, we, we would have to keep that up to date, first of all. And if we programmatically grab the doc string and put it in here, then, well, that doesn't really make any sense, right? Because now we're now 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 we have a different now we have a different um, set of doc strings. Um, because this is, you know, that's not applicable to our project, right? That's the that's the code we're wrapping. Um, so that's not quite the same usage and everything. Um, so the 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 alternate the alternate solution here is is to do something where we could like rebuild a NumPy style doc string um, from a config structure, and now this allows us. So basically, you take this NumPy, right? You created a config using a NumPy style doc string. You added properties to it, and now you have this programmatic you know structure that you can use and you can serialize and all, all that good stuff, right? And now if you wanted to, and, and the point of this is, and, and this may not even fix this, but we can at least um, do proper sanitization. So the point of this is the way that we've been doing this, right, on, on the on the plugins page, um, we have like, you know, a different, it's, it's not the same style, right? Uh, so if it's not the same as like the API generated docs, um, so if we were to go um, feature feature okay that's obviously a bad one all right yeah i'm not sure if we really do that in many places um but if we if you were to look at where record no i don't think we really do this anywhere no maybe the net stuff you tell net yeah parameters right so it'll format it it'll format things like this if we were to write it um, you know, if we were to write our doc, st doc strings in NumPy style doc string for the classes that we've been doing, it would format it like this. Uh, so what I'm suggesting here is that we could have a um, we could have a function that takes a config structure and turns it back into a NumPy style doc string, and that way we end up seeing you know this under the plugins page where right now you see you know the custom formatted um, situation um, which would be you know and this is a bad example no it's not all right which is like this right so you end up seeing it in, in the standard format instead um, this is an option and the reason why i'm talking about it is because this right here is coming directly from the doc string of that lgbm model and so we could then escape this, like it's been escaped here for some reason, but it wasn't escaped here. Um, or we could just modify the, um, or we could just modify the the, the docs, um, the scripts docs API, um, or like docs. I think it's docs py. Yeah, docs py um, to escape it there. Uh, this might be the better approach. This is probably the better approach immediately. Um, however, sort of long term, it's probably better if we go to go to this thing where we would have this function that would be, you know, like the reverse of this make NumPy config. Um, anyways, it's probably an issue to be created. Um, I don't know, and and also sort of something that that I think we, is worth asking. You know, the group here. Do people think that? It is a good idea to um, do. People think it's a good idea to change from this format into you know the other format, which is like this, right? Does anybody does anybody think that it's better the way it is right now? <laughs> no, it is not. Yeah, it no. is not. Yeah. Like it should be like this is what everybody thinks yeah all right yep. all right okay i completely agree um so which was the point of that whole rant um we just obviously you know having two things it means that we end up with two two approaches there so and then this should allow us to do something like um this should allow us to um when we're um uh we we can we can basically yeah, we could, we can we can write this doc string, you know, and then do you know um, make numpy, you know, from config, 
and then pass the config structure, right? Um, which would be like this, right? And then this becomes an F string um, or something like this, right? Um, and, and, and this way now we now we'll end up with stuff that looks correct, right? And we'll have the right config structure. The problem is, you know, the 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 unfortunate thing is that we end up in this sort of in between land, right? Where we have to do both things because we need the ability to um, we need the ability to parse out the parameters from anything that we're wrapping because we're in this world where we're wrapping stuff. And we need the ability to add our own parameters. And so we, we, we have to have some way of keeping that in sync. Um, so if anybody has a better idea on how we might keep that in sync, um, please, you know, please, if somebody could create that issue um, and then we could comment on, I'll put the issue in once somebody's create, who does it, can anybody, or let's see, I'll just create the issue and then, and then I'll have the thing. Um, because then we can sort of, and this is something that we probably need to talk about long term, right? Um, so if anybody has other ideas on how to do this, then util config um, function to make um, numpy style uh, arguments. Ah, no, what? Oh God, my computer might reboot in the middle of this for some reason. This is, it started this like three days ago. I, are you serious right now? And then it was like, you're going to need to reboot. Well, okay. I meant lose, lose you guys. Um, but I'll, I'll come back then. Okay. So function to make NumPy style doc string from config class. Uh, and so if anybody has any, um, let's see recording from 2021 uh, 04, 13. Um, okay. So if anybody has any ideas on how to do this in a better way, uh, please comment an issue because obviously this is, that is my entire thinking on it. And if anybody has any other thinking on it, does anybody other have any other thoughts on it right now? This is a good one, maybe for us to target for beta. Um, um, oops. All right, yeah, so if anybody has any, and I'll label it with the community input needed. All right, and I'll pin it because um, this is something we need to figure out. Um, and I don't think this should be too hard, quite honestly. I think this sounds pretty dang easy. Um, we just we just need to do it. Um, for this immediately, and why we were talking about this, is that uh, I think to get this merged in a test, we're going to need to, I wonder if I could just do it now, but sanitize default. Now this is typing information. So this is unfortunately what has to be done to get a config structure to, to look like restructured text. Um, and it's not pretty. Um, so where is the, uh, cause it would be way better, right? If we could just have standard, standard stuff. Um, it's in here somewhere. So basically this is the, like, you know, where's the built, the built args, um, help plug in help. Um, place um, star star we can try this we can try that and see if this docs build passes while we talk about something else <laughs> all right so it can be our quick hack fix so lgbm um, I really hope this thing doesn't reboot me in the middle of our meeting. I cannot believe it did that. Jesus. Okay. Um, and then the other thing that we're looking at here is this uh, async test case stuff. So consolidate test case classes. All right. Um, okay. 
So, and we're sort of, let's, these are, these are sort of going in parallel. So, um, Natesh, is there anything that you wanted to, so, so we're, we'll debug these. Okay, make out, oh, oops. So we've been debugging these things in parallel the entire, or I guess concurrently the entire time we've been talking, but, um, is, is there, there anything else you wanted to talk about today, Natesh? You're on mute. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll see, see you guys, guys soon. soon. Um, or you yeah. know. Oh okay. gosh. All right. Well, this sucks. Um. All right. I I'll I'll, I'll just ping you on Gitter when we get back to this because I think maybe we should do some 